there, but how about we get to the SIU side of things. The defense against the Bears was dominant. Right now, SIU actually has a top five rush defense in the entire country. They held the Bears to under 40 yards yesterday, 31 to be exact. They weren't giving them anything, and to go along with that, they added six sacks as well. Afterwards, the team was talking about how setting up Having great defense on the early downs, getting them into third and long, second and longs really lets them and the pass rush gets going and we'll let them take away the story from here. We gave up 184.5 yards a game two years ago and that was something on the board every single day. Uh, he, he said that's who we are, that's, that's our identity, that's what we did like the, two years ago. So last year, is, like I said, we really started taking pride in stopping the run and that was something we were going to do every single game. And we were able to do it pretty well last year as well. And then kind of we've carried it over to this year, just, you know, playing fast, playing downhill. Because if you can stop the run, you can get to, you know, uh, second 10, third and nine, stuff like that. Longer, longer down in distance later in the down. And guys can kind of just come off the line. They're not having to worry about run blocks and just being able to come after the quarterback. So that's where the kind of the sacks come from. Just being able to, you know, get stops those first two downs, especially stopping the run. And, you know, that really helps out later in the downs. Well, safe to say, again, they have been dominant holding teams when the offense can't really get things going enough and the offense has been just as good. So SIU is going to take this streak that they're on right now. 4-0 to start to Youngstown State next week to see if they can stay unbeaten. One negative though from the game was Roe Elliott leaving with an injury, seen on the sidelines with a boot. Nick Hill said afterwards he's dealing with turf toe. In the first half alone, Elliott racked up 100 yards and two touchdowns before the exit. No further updates available yet on his condition, but we'll keep you updated throughout the week.